Hi everyone, my name's Rhiannon from Blue Dog Board Games and today I'm going to do a playthrough of the board game Under Falling Skies. Now this does have a campaign component to it but what I'm going to do today is just do the, uh, the game straight out of the box without any campaign components. Uh, so um, there won't be any spoilers. Um, I'm just going to use one of the, the base game cities. So New York City has got a, a base a power of, you can only have one robot but the value of the room is raised by one. And um, we're going to just flip one of the tiles to be uh, non-standard difficulty. So we're going to be pretty much as basic as we can get, but just going to ramp up the difficulty very, very slightly. Um, so let's just get going. We're all set up, ready to go. Now, I'm not actually entirely sure if New York... Um, I'm the wrong energy. Um, when it says you can have any one robot, but the value of its room is raised by one. I think that means once you've created the robot, the room you pop it into, that value has increased by one. So it's as if it's got that plus one to the die in it, I think. Um, I did check the rules a minute ago and it doesn't actually say. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to play it today. <laughs> Whether that's right or not, I don't know. So we're just going to get started with that rule in place. going to house rule it. Um, so I think in the first instance we are going to need to think about excavating as quickly as we can. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's let's start there. I think one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Uh, let's do something in this row then first. Let's do, I don't think I'm going to actually be using much here, so let's pop that one in there, so that's not going to move in the second column, and then the five, one, two, three, four, five, is going to go there. One, two, three, four, five. And then these need to be re-rolled. Every time you uh, place a white die, they, you re-roll the rest. It's a very, very clever mechanism. Uh, so we want some energy, really. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, that could be quite nice, actually, because then we can start to... One, two, three, four. Um, we'll have a couple of clearer columns. These we roll. And let's just gain loads of energy. One, two, three, four. And I may as well try and move you as a little as possible. Okay, so in the first instance, just going to spend the one there, one energy to excavate all the way to the end here. You guys don't do anything. And then I'm going to get eight energy. So push myself all the way to the top. And that's great because now I've got some research rooms uncovered. Good. Um, so the mothership is moving down so she is starting her descent towards New York City and um, spawning a clear ship um, and I believe they go left to right. There we go. So it'd be nice to think about a robot actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, um, let's go for it, I think. What are they doing? They're going to be, the mothership's going to be minusing two from our excavation. One, two, three, four. So maybe I should be doing something like that then. Mm, yeah, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's not neglect this excavation because it's going to be very important for us. One, two, three, four, five, six for the rest of the game. Oh, got a couple of high rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that going to be doing any favours to us? I always go here. 
with a six because that's not going to um, uh, push anything down, so that's fabulous. Um, I don't really want the other six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we might go for the robot on there. And actually, I think I might be a bit risky. Oh, um. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Not moving you. We're gonna place you in the robot room. One, two, three, four, five, six, and re roll you to get a two. Okay, so they actually, I just checked the rule and they all the ships move spon um, simultaneously. So we're going to go here and that one's going to go, no, I wanted to go here. So he's going to go one, 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 and then he's going to go there and you're going to move down. So you actually go back on the mothership. Good, I think that went well. Um, so I'm going to spend one to excavate one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, and then spend two energy to ex uh, excavate. Research for seven, so let's start pushing up here. So we've got five, six, and we're going to have to stay there. That's fine, and then we're going to do another energy that's giving us a robot of five and I think we're going to pop you in the research space hmm. yeah okay mothership is moving and spawning a clear ship that's the only thing we're spawning unfortunately is now going into our middle column This is not a robot. That is a robot. All right. Okay, so I think we need to, they're getting, there's quite a lot of ships now and they're gonna start to come quickly. So I'm just conscious of the fact we might wanna start thinking of blowing some up. So one, two, three, four. I don't wanna blow anything up there. Um, so where are, how much energy have we got? So we could do with some more energy. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want that there. I don't want that five there. I don't really want that five. One, two, three, four, five. I really don't want that five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want that five. So let's try and get rid of this five somehow. Um, could be good to actually try and get some energy. What have we got? The three is the biggest. Hmm. Mm, these aren't great rolls. <laughs> Okay, well let's just let's just finish our energy first. So one, two, three. Um, so ideally we want to re-roll. We want to place you somewhere. What are our options? We don't have many. I mean we could pop you here. One, two. Energy is always going to be useful, isn't it? And then one, two, three, four, five. I think we didn't want to fight here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to move the mothership. I think we're going to have to 
that's two twice I've moved it though and then we'll be skipping out the next round where nothing happens we're not going to use that <laughs> okay what are we going to do with these then is there anything to blow up Oh dear. Right, you're gonna have to go there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you. It's nothing useful you can do, I don't think. So you're just gonna move one each. A little bit of a wasted round, I feel. Um, so you guys don't do anything. I can get four energy. One, two, three, four. Um, I think I will activate that. For two energy. So it's actually worth... So I said I was going to use it by adding one to the room cost, uh, room value. So it's worth seven. So let's tick that down. So we could do four, three, and then unfortunately we can't push it up any further. But we do get another one energy. Okay. Wasn't the greatest of rounds. But on the plus side, we don't have any mothership action happening. <laughs> It'd be nice to skip the mothership one next though, because the excavator's minusing three. So what have we got? I think we need to blow up some more ships now. Seems to go in two separate things like research and then blow up your ships and research and blow up your ships. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you'll be close behind. Maybe we'll do that. It's worth quite a lot of energy though. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. Get a three going in here. But then do I want to do anything? One, two, three, four, five. Not really. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I want that five over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's excavate over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We actually wanted to trigger a mother ship movement as well, really. How could we do that? One, two, three. Do we have any threes? We do. Let's place that three then. And the energy. One, two, three. Mothership moves. That's either really good or really not good. <laughs> We do have a two there. One, two, three, four. That we could use. Okay, yeah, so let's do the two here. Oh, did I want to do that? I'm already generating some energy. I've got loads of energy. So let's pop you in here. One, two and pop you down here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Can you move over that? Okay. Oh, darn it, I, oh, that's excavating. That's okay, it's excavating. <laughs> I think I missed a research room. I do tend to get carried away sometimes with this. Um, 
Okay, we're going to spend one energy to research for four value. There we go. Um, and what's this? This is going to be four, five, six. We are going to spend the two energy now to activate that for six because that is going to push us down. So that's five, that's two, and that's zero. And then, actually, I'm going to spend one more energy to push up that two. If I can get two energy, Ooh. and then I can spend three energy to blow up everything of six or less. That's not too bad. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. But we're now out of energy. So move the mothership. Move two spaces down. That's okay, because they were only two value of two. And then respawn. So we're respawning here and here. So we've got a couple of ships that are getting a bit too close for comfort, really. But we are doing quite well on the research track, and we're nearly at the end of our excavation. And actually, he's not pushing down anymore on our excavation. So one, two, three. We only need a three, and then we're home free. One, two, three. So we could push him over there. What do we want to do with this column, though? A two, ideally. Yeah, let's try and do that. So let's try and blow something up as well. Um, actually, hold on, we need energy. We need energy as first priority. One, two, three, four, five. Or should we push them into these bits? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well, this number five is not going to hurt us, so we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, and we roll because none of these are particularly useful right now. And then one, two, three, have we got a three? That could be really nice. Yes, we have a three. One, two, three. So we've got loads of energy. Now let's focus on blowing stuff up. So we can't use this one, but we can use this one, and this one, and this one. Uh, can't use that one. So this one, and this one. One, two, three, four. Do we have a four? We do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're going to have to use a six down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we stick six in here, one, we get one damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, but then we can blow him up in a second. Um, I don't know whether to sacrifice that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we get. Um, so what am I doing with this one? Don't really need more energy. <laughs> okay, well we can potentially look to get a new robot. One, two, three, four, five, six. We roll you. We get a one. May as well not move you then. Really and truthfully. Okay, so you disappear. I'm going to 
use that one energy to create a robot of value five. Do I want to do that? No, actually, hold on. I'm probably not going to do that. What I'm going to do, because I, I can only have one robot, so that means I'd have to kick him out immediately, I think. And actually, I want to use him. So I'm going to waste a little bit. I'm going to get eight energy, but, you know, I, I've lost one there because I've only had, I had to gain seven. Then I'm going to use two energy to activate this robot. So he's worth three, four, five. So we can push him up to there. He's now worth two. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three to blow up ships on six or less. And I think I will also now generate a robot of value five. And I think he's working pretty well, so I might just stick him in here again. Yeah. Okay, we're now respawning. And we are respawning two white ships as well, so they go into the places where the ships have got furthest. Okay, I think we need to go charging up this research track because in a second they're going to be pushing us down again. So we need to be a bit careful because we're right on the sticky tile now, so I want to make sure that when they're pushing us down, they're not pushing us down a big step. So, got no energy again. One, two, three or four here. Do we have a four? We don't. We do have a three. Hmm, I... What do I want to do? We need energy before we do anything else. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for six energy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've got another six, which could be really useful. So we don't need to worry about energy now. We want to push up research quickly. Which means I want to probably use as many as possible. <laughs> If I could get that six in there, that would be really useful because then it's actually worth a seven and I could just push up to these spaces. And if I could get a two in as well. So let's pop the two in there and then a six in here. I've got another damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reroll you two. I was hoping for some higher rolls, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let's hope that I get something higher. One, two, one, two, and re-roll you. A six, okay. We're gonna go for it and just take that extra damage. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was going backwards. <laughs> okay. So we're gaining six energy at max. Um, right, which way round do I want to activate everything? So I've got seven here, I've got five, six, seven here as well. Okay, so let's activate this one first. He's worth seven, so four, zero, and that's that one. Yeah, and then I think we're going to spend the one energy to push up 
on this one. Then, okay, this is going okay. Um, one energy to explode everything, eight or less. So get rid of you and you and just got the white ships left. And then we can do two, we've got five, six, seven. So we can nearly get to the top here. And you tick down to value four. And we haven't even needed this research space. Um, and then you come down, you do push us back one, but it's only a value one. So that was really quite well. It's, it's almost as if I planned it. <laughs> We do need to stop being a little bit careful about our damage. We are halfway destroyed. And I, I actually do want to open this out. One, two, three. Do we have a four? We do. I think we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. One, two, three, four. I should have probably looked at everything else first to see whether I wanted to use those values, but we're just going to get him on an explosion space and excavate out to the end. We need some more energy. The energy can come from here or here now. One, two, three, four, five. Have we got a five? Yes, we do. So let's go there, one, two, three, four, five. So we've excavated, we can gain the energy that we need. Now think about blowing up ships. So our choices are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, okay, I'll try and use that one, that number six there then. So I'll try and use that six, one, two, three, four, five, six here. I've got a five. Um, one, two, three, four. Mm, that's gonna give us another damage. Let's use this two. Let's use that two there. One, two, one, two. And then we can use that six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reroll you. Oh no, <laughs> that's not what I bargained for. Mm. Oh, I was cutting the wrong one. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to have to go with it. So, how would he be useful? Let's put him on the research space. I don't have to use it. Yeah, so get one energy. Um, then I think I'm just gonna spend the one energy to excavate to the end. Um, okay, three energy, one, two, three to explode everything, six or less, you two and you two. And uh, get five more energy. And then research, okay. So you're worth six, you're worth six. You're gonna be cheaper, so let's do one energy. Let's push up to that, and then I don't need to use that robot. Okay. We've got one more space to go and we, we're, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, it's okay. As I say, as the city of New York blows up. So you have to go down. Ah, I forgot. Yeah, we are going to um, <laughs> decrease our research track there, but that's okay. It's only a value of three, so I could use that there. Could just use the robot. Um, 
Okay, so let's try and get um, a value of 11 in here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go for you there. One, two, three, four, five. And then re roll you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Let's pop you in there as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, make sure I've got enough energy. So yeah, let's make sure that I've got the energy there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reroll both of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, let's do that. I don't think it matters anymore. Let's just pop you in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two. We can put you here. One, two, one, two, and you move over. <gasps> okay, so we are going to, first and foremost, spend two energy to activate this robot for a value of four, five, six. He ticks down. And that pushes up into the three. And then we can get five energy. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally spend one, two, three, four energy to um, research for a value of 13. And we've got it. We've got to the top. Well done. <laughs> so we have won our game of Under Falling Skies. And we had um, a couple of turns left. So that's really not bad. And we were only halfway dead as well. Um, so that's actually really not bad at all. Uh, usually it comes down, as I said at the very beginning of the video, like right to the very last point and the very last dice roll. Um, but yeah, it's a really good um, to and fro game. So um, thank you very much for watching and um, I'll let you know my thoughts. So just sharing a couple of thoughts about what I think of Under Falling Skies. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised with this game. I'm not particularly fond of the space theme. It has put me off a little bit. I always find the artwork quite dull and boring. It's all very dark. Um, but this game, I played it actually first of all on, is it Tabletop Simulator or Board Game Arena? I think it was Tabletop Simulator um, initially, just to sort of get a feel for it because I was just absolutely not convinced I would like. I was just like, yeah, it's this, it's this dice rolling game, it's space themed, it's, you know, solo games are my thing. So I was sure I'd like it to some degree, but I was just, just not really feeling it. But I played it a few times on um, on the online and I really enjoyed it. I thought the dice manipulation was so clever. I've not seen a game do this before where it's so dependent on what you roll and that tension that you get by wondering whether you should place the die that allows you to re-roll everything or uh, place the die which allows you to just lock that in and retain all the rest of your die. And the decisions that you make throughout the game, because you really feel yourself ebbing and flowing as to you want to attack them as much as possible. But then when you are heavy on the attack, you are really neglecting your research and um, uh, your energy production. And so it's a real fine balance in this game. And the, uh, as I said in the main plane through, it comes, it comes ultimately down to the last roll in a lot of games. It's so tightly... Uh, designed, I think it's an absolutely fabulous streamlined design. I have not really come across a game that's quite so well, um, I would say manicured, <laughs> it's, it's, it's tight and very very good. Um, in terms of content of what you get in the box, it's absolutely phenomenal. I was so blown away by how big this was, it's so heavy. Um, you know, it's not it's not actually that big a box in terms of size, but like this is already like the the weight of a normal game, and yet I've got half the components out on here. Um, I'm about a third or halfway through the campaign, uh, and you get like extras, as, so you get scenarios to pick, and so they just alter the gameplay a little bit. You might have a different objective. Um, you've get you get um, special characters to play as well that enable you to activate a special power on your turn or once per game. Um, and you get lots of extra cities and there's little comic book bits on the back of the, it's the scenario instructions. And so it, the amount of content that you get in this box is amazing for the price. It's so good. 
And the playtime is absolutely spot on. You are really quite involved in the game the whole time. Um, and yeah, I honestly can't really think of a bad thing to say about it at all, if I'm honest. It is absolutely one of my favourite solo games. If I was to pick a smaller, smaller box, it's not that small, a smaller box, uh, a shorter time game. I'm usually a heavier gamer, uh, widespread Euro games are more my jam, but if I was to pick a game that was uh, plays in under 45 minutes or around 40 minutes, uh, that is very cheap, um, reasonable priced and fits well on somebody's shelf instead of these big sprawling boxes. Um, I would absolutely 100% recommend this one and I hope you do give it a shot and even if you didn't want to buy the copy do give it a shot online because it's free, why wouldn't you? And you, it's just, it really is a really good representation of what it is like in l real life. Um, and I would highly recommend listening to um, either the Alien Trilogy soundtrack from the Sega Saturn. I used to watch my dad play that all the time as a kid. Um, that is nicely thematic or even War of the World soundtrack whilst you're playing this. It just... T tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Highly enjoyable. Absolutely love this game. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you check this game out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!